greetings. Nosferatu turns a hundred. That's right. A century ago, in 1922, the silent German film Nosferatu, a symphony of horror, was released by director F. W. Murnau and starred Max Schreck as the dreaded Count Orlock. It's a beautifully chilling, atmospheric, old-school, surreal masterpiece that rips off Bram Stoker's Dracula quite well, but we'll get to that later. It takes place in the year 1838, and boy does it look like it was filmed then too. After some title cards about plagues and shadows and stuff, the film finally opens to a view of a church steeple looking down to a Bavarian-looking village below. It's the fictional town of Wisborg. Hutter, or Hutter, the hero of our story, picks his wife Ellen some flowers, but she complains that he has killed them. Marriage. Hutter works for a real estate agency who just took on a new client, possibly from Transylvania. Hutter's boss sends him to the faraway land to offer the mysterious Count Orlock the abandoned house across the road from Hutter's house. When he finally reaches Count Orlock's castle, Hutter meets the lanky, pale, rodent-like form of Count Orlock. Orlock agrees to buy the property across from Hutter's after seeing a picture of Ellen, his wife, and complimenting her neck. No red bells yet. No red flags yet. Never heard of red bells. But this movie is in black and white, so we wouldn't know what colour the bells were. Hutter spends the night in the castle. Why not? He looks out his door to a truly spooky sight of Orlok standing menacingly, staring, waiting. The door opens by itself and the Count meanders in. Back in Wisborg, Ellen, his wife, has a bad dream and sleepwalks on the balcony rail. She seemingly knows her husband's in trouble. Woman's intuition? She was right about the flower dying. Hutter wakes up in the morning, as people often do, with two mosquito bites on his neck. Hmm. He explores the castle in the sane light of day. Down in the basement, however, he finds Dracula, uh, I mean Orlock, sleeping in a coffin. We then get the best going upstairs scene in cinematic history. Hilarious. The race is on for the two to make it to Wisborg and to Ellen. Hutter arrives home first, but his delight is short lived as the famous scene plays of Orlock's ascension of the staircase with outreached fingers, impossibly long. The killer coming up the stairs, this is the origin of Michael Myers. You name it, all other horror villains started right here. Dracula, I mean Orlock, opens the door and grips Ellen's heart in suspended terror. He sucks her blood, her life force. But then he carelessly walks by the window and is vaporized by the morning sun. The master is dead. One final shot of the castle, now in ruins. Not unlike the ending to Picture of Dorian Gray. And then, the end. So it's truly an iconic movie. Um, because of the Nosferatu makeup, the gothic film noir expressionist style, um, Bram Stoker's widow sued straight away. She did not see the homage to her husband's work. She saw blatant theft. She won the copyright court case. Part of the settlement 
was to be the destruction of all copies of the film. I think it was even mentioned that they had to be burnt, but luckily one somehow survived and we still have it to this day. A treasure a hundred years later. Of course, some would say the copyright wasn't the reason Stoker wanted them all burnt and destroyed. Some say this film is cursed, and if you watch it, Orlok's shadow may find you and follow you home. Nine years after, in 1931, we got Dracula, starring Bella Lugosi with Widow's Peak and Cape. And that version of the vampire remains the popular one today. But throughout the last century, we've seen glimpses of Nosferatu, the original. Most notably in 1979's Nosferatu, the Vampire. Or 1993's Are You Afraid of the Dark's Midnight Madness, when Nos comes out of the movie screen. Possibly harking back to that legend that Nosferatu will follow you home. Um... What we do in the shadows, Peter resembles Nosferatu. There's some others. And let's not forget the Hardy Boys book, Track of the Zombie. Either Nosferatu or Telly Savalas, I can't decide. Thanks for watching. Happy Halloween! <laughs>